Hi everyone, it's Jasmine, and uh, yesterday I went to Walmart and I bought a few things, so I thought I would make a haul video today for you guys, and um, I didn't buy a lot of things, but I bought a few things, so I thought I'd share with you guys. So one of the first things that I bought was a um, just this uh, Justin Bieber girlfriend uh, perfume set, and um... No, I do not like Justin Bieber. Um, not particularly anyways. If you're a fan, I'm sorry, but, um, yeah. So, um, I bought this perfume set because, um, I'd heard that it smelled good, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, it has the perfume, of course, which is, uh, 0.5 ounces, a bath gel, and a body lotion. And, um... I have opened this already, as you can see, and um, to be honest, I was kind of dis disappointed. Um, I was kind of expecting something different, I don't know, I kind of feel like the smell is something I've smelled like a thousand times, and I feel like it was nothing special, like just typical, I've smelled it a dozen times. Um, so I was a little disappointed, but um, I'll still use it. Of course, since I bought it, I'm going to use it. Um, it doesn't stink or anything. It just wasn't like, um, wasn't anything unique or anything that I haven't smelled in a while. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's more of a, like, cooler scent. Um, like... A cool uh, floral scent, I would describe it. Um, maybe um, if you've smelled this before, maybe you guys, um, maybe it smells different to you guys, but that's how it smelled to me. So um, let me put that to the side. Um, one of the next things that I bought was this um, owl shirt. Here it is. And here's the print. And this is just like a nice um, dark, uh, like hunter green, army green color. And the owl is sparkly. And I love owls, so I had to get this. And it was only $10, so um, I got it. And uh, I'm not one of those people that, like, are against buying clothes from Walmart. Like, um, if I see something cute and it's at Walmart d regarding wherever it's at, sorry, um, I'm going to get it. If it's at a more expensive store and I see something that's cute, then if I have the money for it, I'm going to get it. If I see it at Walmart, it's cute. I don't care if it's from Walmart. Uh, I'm going to get it. So I seen this and I thought it was really cute and I love owls and um, it's nice for the um, fall and the winter time so I just had to have this. So I'll put that to the side. Um, one of the next things that I got was these slippers and um, they're Hello Kitty and I love Hello Kitty. Um, <laughs> it might be kind of kiddish. But, um, I don't care. I still love Hello Kitty. And, um, I've already opened them, so they're separate. Um, but these are really comfortable, and there's just a, a fuzzy fur inside. And, um, I thought these were really cute. They were $5.97, so they were $6. And, um, I needed a new pair of slippers, so I had to have these. Um... And the next thing that I got was a new candle, and um, this is in Vanilla Buttercream Cupcake, and I believe this is a new scent that they have, and it's just the um, Better Homes and Gardens um, kind brand, and um, let me smell it, I have to smell it. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Um, Guys, go get this. It smells amazing. I love it. This is my going to be my new favorite candle. Um, the package, the tag, there's a little tag on it. 
and it actually says highly scented our best candle yet with the richest fragrances so um yeah this is a winner in my vote so um go pick this up guys um this i believe was only like five or six dollars so yeah um i needed a new candle i feel like this is a scent that i will probably going to repurchase quite a bit after I run out so go get some um, one of the next things that I got was um, at the by the register and um, you know they put all that stuff by the register so that you'll buy more stuff before you leave spend more money and so of course I bought more stuff and spent more money um, it's uh, just the baby lips, and I've never actually tried one of these before. Um, it's just in, um, I don't remember, I don't see where the name is, but it's in Quenched. It's just the clear one, and um, I've only used this once so far, and um, I've seen a lot of people really love these, and I actually was not in love with this. Um, I really don't see what the hype is about these. Um, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But, um, it was nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but I would prefer my EOS lip balm to this. Uh, it, it wasn't, it just wasn't something like, wow, it wasn't something like really s extraordinary to me. But, um, to each their own, I guess. So, um, one of the next things that I got was this, um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow, and this is in Inked in Pink, and, um, I've actually never tried one of these before, um, so I thought I would, um, give it a try. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this on, um, YouTube from many beauty gurus, so I thought I would try some. Um, I'm sure I'm probably going to love it, and I will probably go and get more colors after I've tried this, but I have not tried it yet, and, um, I will probably do a review on it after I try it and post it on my blog, um, and I will link, um, my blog in the down under bar, so you can go check that out, and, um, let me know what you guys think about this product. What's your favorite colors? Um, how do you like to apply them? And whatnot. So. So the last thing that I got was this um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. And it's in um, Comfort Zone. And this is just a neutral palette. And um, I've heard um, also a lot of good things about this palette. Um, about Wet n Wild eyeshadows on YouTube from many be uh, YouTube beauty gurus. So um, I wanted, I had to give this a try. Um, I actually um, never really reached for Wet n Wild products because um, I just never gave it a shot. Um, I just kind of figured it was like one of those brands that were really cheap and um, not worth your money, not worth spending because of the quality, but I've heard that these are really good quality and have great pigmentation, so I had to try these, and of course it's the neutral shade, so you can't go wrong there, um, and this is not new, um, to anyone, but it's new to me, so, um, and I will also be doing a review on these with swatches after I try them out, I haven't tried them out yet, but, I will be shortly, so um, look for that on my blog as well. And uh, sorry, I'm looking down a lot. Um, I'm still trying to get used to filming. This is my only, only my second video on YouTube still. Um, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, check out my blog, please. Um, like I said, the d link will be in the down under bar, and. Um, yeah, um, so I'm probably, I would like to be, um, filming at least, um, uploading a video at least once every week, so hopefully that goes as planned, um, so, you know, so you know kind of when to look forward to that every once a week, 
Um, it is kind of hard for me to film because I do have a son and it is kind of hectic to be able to film um, and run around after him. So, yeah. Um, but um, look for my next video, which will be up hopefully soon in the next few days. Um, it will probably be a birch box unboxing because I'm uh, should be getting that in the mail pretty soon. So look for that. Well, you guys have a nice, a great night and um, happy holidays. Goodbye.